evening folks just on a little walk out this evening get me a bit of exercising um, not on the bike tonight just having a walk having a walk perhaps stop for a coffee in the woods gives a bit of, sorting out a bit of the old mental health as well not that there's anything wrong with me I'm just I like getting out into nature into the woods I come across these buildings now I'm guessing they're from the old clay pits offices etc well this building looks quite old it's got some nice stonework on it so whether that was a previous farmhouse or farm building I'm not sure this here I thought was part of the clay working because I'm really close to one of the clay pits but it's, a, it's made of concrete it's got this asbestos roof which is a inside as you can see Got the old pig pen, pig pens or cattle pens. I'm not quite sure. Uh, probably pigs, or cattle, something like that. Got some nice wooden beams in there. Still in good nick and all. Not... It's a truck fuel tank there. Very good. Is any good? I'm not sure what's off here. Is it? That's probably worth a couple of quid to the right person in the know. <laughs> On my walks, I'm finding quite a few of these sort of places. I'm guessing there's no nice, nice steps going up there. I'm guessing from the location of that this belongs to Eden Project. It's very close to Eden. <coughs> Sound a bit hoarse this evening. Been out for about half an hour now. Won't be surprised if there's a barn out in there somewhere. I'm not at all surprised. Although I must admit, I haven't seen any barn owls around here. Um, which I'm quite surprised. <laughs> Lots of tawny owls, but not many barn owls. Crossing where I'm walking as well. No, I'm going to end up arse over tit. Yeah, interesting. No, I say I thought it was part of the old clay work. I've probably changed my mind now. It's probably just farm buildings. Well, it's obviously farm buildings because over there they've got pig cattle pens. Ooh, that's all in there. No Mr. Owl in there, I expected to. I don't want to disturb anything in here, just in case it's nesting. But like I said, I can't see anything. Certainly old. Well, it's got asbestos roofing. This it calls. Right. 
head off now, I'll speak to you in a bit. So here we are, we're walking around the outskirts of Eden Project. As you can see, the car park's all empty. It's all shut down. A bit sad, really. Uh, I guess depending on how long this lockdown lasts for and how long it's quite scary really I've you know, had different reports um, coming out of different places about the possibility of um, large gatherings etc being closed down for possibly up to 18 months until they find a, a vaccine or this uh, virus that's going around um, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows really. Um, I mean, it's obviously shocking the high numbers of uh, deaths and stuff, but I don't know. I think there's an element of control coming on as well. But enough of that. And this footpath I'm on is part of what they call the clay trails. Um, built all around the old clay workings. Most of it's all been reclaimed by nature. There's still a few working clay pits around here. Nice young beech trees in there could do with really coppicing really they don't seem to do much of that around here either which is a bit odd because I'm sure these trees would grow a lot better if they were coppiced a bit more thinned out See him, Mr. Robin. Beautiful. down there there's a quite a large badger set I won't go down there but you can just see some of the workings just down there a bit early yet in the evening really possibly to see any badgers What a gorgeous evening. There's not a cloud in the sky. Not a cloud.
little rabbit over there. See him? Just over there, just popped in the hedge. I am so lucky. I am so lucky. Every time I come out here around here, I just feel blessed today. Oh, I'm just going to get me kettle sorted out and have a brew. Let me see if we've got a kettle on. a bit fierce at the moment but calm down First time I use this little stove, I'm not sure. Really, it's a bit small to be honest with you. 